Boxing Comedian Association of Box Show. Dimitri, just a quick word on that press conference. Uh, people talk about the war of words. Who do you think won that? Clarissa won that for sure. But the question is for the for the she's the goat, he's the goat. So what do you think? What do I think about what? Just the press conference. Who do you think won that? And there's quite a long press conference. How long was that compared to the presses you've seen in your time? Well, I mean, again, this is a very, very interesting fight because uh, Clarissa is, without doubt, the best women's fighter around. But she's fighting a woman who has a very, very big punch, an extraordinary punch for uh, a woman. You know, women only go two rounds, they, they fight in men's gloves, so it's hard for them to show their power. But the Savannah Marshall has shown a lot of power. Whether that power can deal with the world-class skills that Clarissa has, we'll have to see on Saturday. Bob, what do you think of uh, Michaela Mayer's fight against Alicia what? Bamba? What do you think of Michaela Mayer's fight against Alicia Bamba? That's a very, very good fight. Uh, Michaela has, you know, been with us since she turned pro, and she keeps getting better and better. Uh, she has a great coach in Mitchell, Al Mitchell, and she's a, a real student of the sport, and she keeps getting better. That being said, she's in with a very tough customer in this Elisa Bumgardner, but Michaela assures me that she can handle Alyssa, and uh, who am I to doubt it? What do you think about the beef between the two fighters, Bob? What? What do you think about the rivalry between the two fighters, Bob? Which two fighters? Uh, Michaela Manning and Alyssa Baumgardner. Well, you know, they're, you know, what, what would you say if there were two men fighters in the same division? All each one thinking that they're the better one. Of course there'd be a rivalry, but I don't think there's anything really personal about it. What do you think of the work Dimitri Salita is doing obviously worldwide now? What? What do you think of the work Dimitri Salita is doing worldwide? Well, I would only think he's doing well once he does a fight in Kiev. <laughs> well, that's, that's a hard undertaking. Will you copper more with me? Will you copper more with me? No. If you yeah. play ESPN, we'll do it. I'm too old. <laughs> Bob, will you speak to Eddie Hearn? If Mayo wins the fight, will you speak to Eddie Hearn about making the Troy fight? Who? Troy, the other champion in the division for an undisputed fight. Apparently, according to Michaela, and I think this Bumgardner says the same thing, that the Korean woman doesn't want anything to do with either of them. And if she doesn't, she doesn't. Frank Warren's given uh, Anthony Joshua 24 hours to accept the fight. Is it going to happen, or are these both teams bluffing each other? Well, I don't think it's going to happen, because while Fury would want it to happen, I put myself in the shoes of Eddie Hearn and Joshua, and after losing twice to Usyk, you, you, the first thing you want to do is to get him back in the ring, uh, Joshua, and get him two fights where it restores his confidence. If he goes back in the ring now with Fury, it is going to be a massacre. Well, do you think so, the sorry, on that, I want, to say, I want to say that if Anthony Joshua is looking for an opponent in the fight with Fury, it's not going to happen. There's no one better for him to fight than the auto Whaler. We gave Tyson Fury objectively the, the hardest fight of his career. 90 more punches against him than Vladimir Klitschko and Deontay Wilder in their first fight put together. Oh, do you think the 60-40 split is fair? What? Do you think the 60-40 split is fair? You were getting 60, 80, 80, 40. Well, I think that is pretty fair, right? I mean, they, Joshua was not a champion anymore. Well, then he said that if Joshua was to win the fight, it would be 60-40 in his favor in the rematch. Do you go along with that? Hey. If, 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 if Fury would want, if, if Fury is willing to do that on the, in a real, all the whole thing, then sure I'll go along with it. 
But again, let's not jump. I don't believe that Fury against Joshua will happen this year because everything that I know about boxing from Joshua's standpoint indicates that it won't happen. Who, who have you got for Fury if it's not Joshua? Now, there are a number of fighters in Europe uh, that we're talking to. J uh, Fury is definitely going to fight this year. They're definitely going to fight in the UK because I talked again uh, yesterday with Usyk's manager, uh, Igis Klimas, who said, please don't rush us. Uh, we'll do the fight the first quarter of next year with Fury against Usyk. And Fury, meanwhile, wants to stay busy. So if this Joshua fight doesn't come to fruition, which I believe it won't, then uh, Frank, uh, Frank and George Queensberry and our people will find a suitable opponent to have uh, Fury fight uh, in the UK. Bob, what's your secret? You're 90 plus years old, what's your secret? Well, I, I eat kosher food. <laughs> That's the secret, the, uh, eat kosher. What's the update with the rematch, Josh Taylor, Jack Catchman? What? Any update with Taylor Catchman rematch? I, I, yeah, I... I we were trying to get do, do it at the end of November, but I, I heard that it may not be possible until January of next year. But that, that's going to be Joshua's next, I mean, that's going to be Josh Taylor's next fight. Dimitri's got a question for you. Uh, ben Shalom, obviously, he's co promoting the event, but there seemed to be, be back, back and forth between him and Clarissa. No matter what happens, would you guys work together again? Sure, listen, I, I work with everybody, and uh, Ben has been good to work with. Obviously, he is Savannah's guy, and uh, he's backing up his fighter. He's a British guy, so that's uh, to be expected. I have, don't have any more or less uh, feelings towards him in, in, in a business-like way. And is there any fights that you're working on at the moment that you could tell us about, maybe you know, from your side, matching them up with fights from the UK? Yes, I'm trying to make Otto Whalen versus Anthony Joshua, I believe. If, Tyson Fury and Joshua doesn't happen. The biggest and the best fight is Joshua versus Otto Whalen. I actually would like to hear what Mr. Aram thinks about it. What's that? Uh, Joshua. What do you think about Joshua versus Otto Whalen? <laughs> Mr. Aram, uh, what do you think of Otto Whalen versus uh, uh, Fury, uh, which is Dimitri's trying to... Anthony Joshua, sorry. I think that's a good fight. Bro. Good fight for, for both guys. I would endorse that. How quickly do you send Jared Anderson in against the big boys? Jared Anderson's a young pup. He has never gone more than a few rounds because he's devastated everybody. So we're taking our time with Jared. I really believe that he's the next big thing in the heavyweight division. And there's no rush with him. He's a young boy. And by the middle and end of next year, he'll be fighting the top guys in the heavyweight division. Mr. Aram, it's been an honor to speak to you for the first time. Thank you. It's been an honor to speak to you for the first time. Well, just lastly, 